This guy managed to pull off the biggest fraud in Premier League. And I'm not talking about corruption, match fixing or betting fraud. I'm talking about Ali Dia, the worst football player who has ever played in Premier League. So what exactly happened? Dia's story starts in November 1996. Southampton is a mid-table team and their manager, Graeme Saunis, receives a call about a transfer tip. He's receiving many calls like that, but at this one, he has to sit up. The caller introduces himself as George Weah. Yes, the legendary Liberian footballer who was rewarded with a Ballon d'Or the previous year. This George Weah tells Saunis about his cousin, Ali Dia a striker who has supposedly turned out for Paris Saint-Germain and had earned 13 caps for Senegal. Saunis is impressed and decides to give Dia a chance. The problem is, the one who was calling wasn't George Weah at all. It was reputedly Dia's friend from university. He gave his mate the proper praise, but he made it all up. And what's more, he had failed trials at Gillingham, Bournemouth, and Rotherham United. Dia only managed to get a foothold in the A division in an obscure team called Blitz Spartans and didn't exactly excel there either. But that's not the end of this strange story. Dia had shockingly made a good impression as Southampton gave him a one month trial. He started training with the team and on 23rd November he was nominated for the match between Southampton and Leeds United. For the time being only on the substitute's bench. As fate would have it, in the 32nd minute of the match, the striker Matt Letizia got injured. Saunis was forced to make an early substitution and he pointed to the young Senegalese with number 33 on his back. But once our college kid entered the game, he made mistake after mistake. His touch was off, his positioning was terrible and he seemed lost on the pitch. As Matt Letizia himself said, Well, after about 20 minutes, um, I get a calf strain, and it's actually me that comes off, so that Ali Dia can uh, can go on, and it was unbelievable. He ran around the pitch like Bambi on ice. It was uh, very, very embarrassing to watch. Ironically, Dia could have scored, but he drilled the ball into the middle of the goal, so the keeper had no problem with the shot. Despite a blatantly poor performance, Dia managed to play 53 minutes before Saunis ran out of patience and replaced him. He didn't do well today, he didn't get a kick of the ball, but you know, he wasn't alone in not doing well today. And you know, we won't we won't judge him just on, on 90 what, what, 60 minutes that he played. Um, we'll have we'll have a look, we've got three weeks to have a look. This assessment by the coach wasn't so negative, but Saunas terminated Diaz's contract after the game. Apparently, Saunas had realized that the cunning Ali Dia had played a decent trick on him, and he is definitely not a Senegalese international. Dia's response to the farewell was simple. He left the hotel without paying for his stay and just vanished. He was never seen again. In my opinion, the whole experience must have been exciting. Just imagine entering a Premier League game without ever having played professional football. What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section below and share some interesting video ideas. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.